but we're just a little bit further downstream now and this does look again like it could possibly be a shaft or it's just where the small workings have sunk in but you've got the characteristic sort of crown round it and the signs of infrastructure the other side where coal could have been filled into carts and so forth so we're getting down to where, where there was the slag drift you can see where they've held the river bank back concrete sides on it and this is where, as I say, looks like this, there is a shaft here where that tree's growing out of. So was that the scar pit? Again, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Well, there's certainly been something here. So is this actually where the bobgin stood and the wheel pit was? You can see the tree there growing out of what I definitely think is the shaft. We're right next to the Blackburn. There's not much sign of uh, a channel being dug, but goodness me, we're going back 300 years, aren't we, nearly? So the shaft at the next confluence is probably the scar pit that drew coal, and this would be the engine pit. The remains of the bridge across to the, to the slag drift. It's a nice name for a drift, isn't it? The slag drift. Went into the mid-home coal. This was the, the lower down of the bottom pits, but it was an old drift going back to the old mid home colliery as well, and it does appear on the first ordnance survey map as a level. And there's a haulage track back up up the bottoms towards the north drift rope works haulage engine. You can see the old stanchions of the bridge down in the bottom. We've got a bit of cable sticking out here as well. The end on it. Is the pit top? Not really much of a much sign of the drift left. I'm presuming it went into the bank side there really. A few dips and hollers. Apart from that, hardly any sign. 